right. Unassigned. This is okay. It's very it's confusing me a little bit here. Unassigned issues. And then we got all open. So we're going to stick with all open issues here because I feel like some of the tickets don't show up in this system for those reasons. Okay. Outlook emails blocked. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to take a little sip of my tea. I put some little honey in it so that way my throat doesn't get dry from talking so much. You know, because it's the winter time and I've, we've got central air conditioning which blows hot air onto my face which dries me out man delicious tea delicious mint tea with honey it's delicious all right outlook emails blocked and it's from i'm going to say i'm, I'm going to try to say your name properly i'm sorry if i don't it's from Seneth, Seneth Hemba, Seneth Hemba Dlamini, Dlamini. Thank you very much for submitting this ticket. Again, I apologize if I mispronounced your name. I'm going to assign a ticket to myself. And it says, email blocked due to size. Oh. So sometimes you get these messages and there's a limit of how big of an email can be before you send it. And that is due to just the way just the way that systems are set up okay let's try this here we go there's simply a limit inherently built in into the outlook in this case or any or any uh on any email client email server um, i should it, it's server it's mainly server that limits in this case the exchange server email exchange server limits the size of the attachments you can send and that's usually what happens is you try to send an attachment because there's no way you can send an email that's a text I mean, it would have to be inc incredibly big email. It would have to be tons of thousands of thousands of thousands of pages long if it's just text. But if you, if you try to send an email with a high or a big attachment, it's going to give you an error because simply there's a limit. The e email exchange server cannot handle this. It cannot process large amounts of data exchange server email server that handles all the emails is designed to handle up to a certain limit of processing so we've got thousands of people connected to one exchange server trying to send emails all the time imagine a company with thousand people and all of these people are constantly sending emails back and forth back and forth each time you send an email the server has to process it and then the next email, if it's coming through, it waits in queue, and then it processes that one, and then in that one, that one. So if you got, you know, ten people waiting on a large email, meaning an email that has a large attachment, then and then it has to wait for that to process. That's not acceptable. As simple as that. So let's attach something. Oops, I accidentally clicked on delete junk email what the heck okay inbox whatever let's just do it here so when i select an attachment here there we go attachment i'm gonna browse the computer let's try something big first of all chances are see this is an executable which is 248 megabytes big it's webex and it's going to not it's not going to it's not going to like it because it's an executable so if you're trying to send ex executable within a business it's going to get blocked because it's an executable and viruses also use an executables which for those reasons email is going to be blocked to begin with but here we are dealing with a large file in this case we're getting a message right away to send your file 
remove large inline images or attachments from the message thread or try using OneDrive. So here's, here's basically the error, what it looks like now. And it's going to look different in different uh, email systems. Like if you go to Gmail and try to say, it's just going to say it's too large. Here it's telling you it's too large, remove it, or just upload it and share it as OneDrive. And this is why these things like OneDrive and G drives or any shared network drives were created for these reasons. So you can share these large files like that. Even uh, Teams, Microsoft Teams is created for that as well. You can send probably larger, a lot larger files through Teams or for example, Slack or for example, you know, any other uh, instant messenger type of uh, system. But, you know, even that has a limit here. It's probably limit is probably I want to say 32 megabytes or something like that. I don't know. Let's try to attach something smaller. I don't know what the exact limit here is because it's nothing. It's not something that, you know, is, is my issue here is zoom installer. 16 megabytes. Yeah. See, it, it already knows that this is a large file, which is very unusual, 16 megabytes. And it, it's asking, are you sure? And then you say attach as a copy. So it's going to let me attach Zoom because it's only 16 megabytes. Again, you don't want to send any. Oh, look like it doesn't want to do it. Look at this. Oh, it's blocked. Well, you know, it's that thing I told you about. You see how it's like it doesn't let you click on it because it knows it's an executable. That's what that. That's what that icon is right here. It knows it's an executable and it blocked it right away. So you see, I'm double clicking. I'm double clicking. It, it won't let me. It won't let me do it because it's blocked because it's an executable because of viruses and such. I hope that explains that. The way to adjust that is probably not going to happen in any business environment for the reasons that I've mentioned already. You know, because it takes a long time to process. Think of it this way. If I sent that 200, what is it, 246 megabyte uh, file to the Exchange server, it has to upload it, and then it has to process it, and then it has to store it. And that takes forever because you've got thousands of people trying to use the same server. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to reply, and I'm going to say the reason why you can't send large files is related to email server not able to handle slash process the requests the, the request of uh, the requests hmm, the reason why you can't send large files related to email ser server not able to handle or process the request the f files of that size it would take up too much of processing power on the server level this is by design and can't be changed as far as I know maybe in the code somewhere it's just it's just something I've never looked into because you know there are better ways of sharing large files you know network drives uh, all those drives all kinds of drives guys I mean it's you know it's all there okay completed closed completed moving on